Welcome back to DC Reviews. Today we are taking a look at the Logitech G305. Uh, I picked this up recently and I've been using it for about a week now. It's a pretty good mouse, um, but it's also very good for the money. So let's take a look at the box. Uh, G305 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. The light speed hero sensor one double a battery lasts 250 hours and weighs about a hundred grams I think so let's just take a look and see what's inside the box uh, pretty much an empty box. Um, the mouse came inside it. There is a cable that you plug into your computer, and there's a USB dongle that you plug in here, and that's how the mouse communicates with your computer. So I'm just using the one off of my G Pro Wireless. I don't think it makes any difference. The G Pro Wireless cable is uh, braided. So it's a little bit nicer, but it does the same thing. Alright, so here it is. Its shape is different than the G Pro Wireless. I would say this is a little bit more. Um, I think it's slightly smaller. But I have it. Have it off right now so it's got the four feet and you can see it's a little bit beat up four feet and one dot and then a little ring around the sensor on and off switch these two buttons on the side this is a right-handed mouse only unless you don't care about the side buttons um, where's the G Pro Wireless? You can swap these two buttons to the right side. So this is a DPI button. Turn it on. You can change it to a lot of colors. I use the software to make only one DPI because I don't want it changing um, by itself. So it's pretty much just yellow, but. You can set up to five, I believe, and it will change different colors, so you know which color is which DPI. Um, the clicks. They are very, very, uh, a lot of feedback when you click them. Got the G Pro Wireless here. Yeah, they're both, both very good. Let's compare the scroll wheels. G Pro Wireless is a uh, a little bit thinner, a little bit less clickiness when you're scrolling it. On the G305, it's more, you feel it more when you turn the uh, scroll wheel. But as far as yeah, the scroll wheel on the 305 is more substantial. Um, Let's look at the profile here. The 305 is longer and it's more rectangular, whereas the, I mean, the G Pro Wireless is more, is longer and it's more rectangular, whereas the G305 is more teardrop shape. And 
as far as the side profile, you can see that the G Pro Wireless is taller. And overall, I say the G305 is smaller. So if you have smaller hands, or uh, if you have smaller hands, the G305, the bigger hands, G Pro Wireless probably fit better. But they're both very usable. The only thing that I did run into, it's kind of annoying on the G305 is this this uh, back side button it seems like like when you're gate or well, even, even when you're scrolling the internet it's like you gotta find it and you gotta push and it just doesn't fit it's it feels like it's kind of hidden whereas on the G Pro Wireless it's they're both the same on the G Pro Wire on the G305. This is more. This protrude, the front one protrudes a lot more, and the back one is more hidden. So this is that's a little annoying to get used to, but it's not a huge deal. So one thing I, I did do is I got a kitchen scale to um, show you the difference in weight. So that's the. The huge thing here is they're both good mouse, both fine for gaming. This one, the G Pro Pro Wireless is rechargeable battery, whereas the G Feel Five is not. You put you put in a battery, and then when it's over, you need to put in a new one, or you can use rechargeable batteries, but it's not as convenient as this having its battery in here. All right, so kitchen scale, zeroed out. The G305 with a double A is 97 grams per se. Yep, 97. The G Pro Wireless without without this back cover is 77 grams. Let's check that once more. 77 grams. So that's about 20 grams difference. 97, 77, right? 20 grams difference. Now, when you are using it like this, you f like you you instantly feel huge difference. This is this is way more balanced. Whereas this is the battery is right here. And it just you can feel it weighs you down and. That takes away from the gaming experience. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the battery. And whoops, this battery by itself. Let's see what that weighs. Twenty-four grams. That's it right there. The difference between this and this. So there have been people saying use a AAA battery and this lithium battery is very light. So let's see what this weighs. 8 grams. So that's a uh, savings of 12 grams. And then you need to somehow get it to fit, which is where you, you can either use like a tin foil ball or oh, you get these um these double A to or triple A to double A adapters and I've tried it and I've only using half of it pretty much as two plastic sleeves that have um 
metal contacts so that it pretty much turns it into a, a double A. But I figured out that you can also do it with only half. So uh, let's see what this weighs with the half. All right, that's another two grams, uh, 10 grams. So this versus this, you're saving 14 grams. So let's put it in there. And it's uh, not a snug fit, but it, uh, it works. So let's turn it on. Oh. All right, you see that? So it's on, you know, you, you're you using it. It doesn't turn, well, and it works. Right, let's put the cover back on. Eighty four grams versus seventy eight grams. So this is only a six gram difference. Now let's <clears throat> let's feel the difference between them now. All right, and glides easily, smooth balanced you can still feel a little bit of extra weight but it's been balanced out which was in its main thing now see now I pick it up and it's it doesn't want to drop down so this is a very this is a very nice uh, alternative to this which is I think 135 now I bought this for like 45 I think you get them 45 on eBay, 50 bucks Amazon, 45 to 50 bucks Amazon. So you're saving about 80 bucks and then you would have to get the batteries and the adapters, which will be another 10 bucks. So let's say you're saving uh, $75. So if someone that doesn't have the bankroll, which a lot of you guys say that I don't have the money for I really like this most but I don't have the money for it get one of these and do what I just did and you're pretty much five six grams away from this you know and some people might try to go to this first because of the hand shape if you have a smaller hand I'd say this might be might be a little bit better so Yep, I've been gaming with this for about, I want to say, a week, and I've been doing just fine. This has not um, made me any better or worse than using this. So definitely check this out, G305. Very good alternative to the G Pro Wireless. Some people might even like this better. Uh, very similar. And... This may be better fitting for some people's hands if they want something a little bit smaller. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time.